Today is Wednesday and at Worlds it's track walk day. It's Wednesday, track walk day. So today is track walk. Some people just kind of scoot down it and don't really take much notice. Other people can be up there for hours. Okay, sorry to interrupt, but as you already know, I'm not allowed anywhere near the racetrack. So just pretend that these next few clips of Schaefer are actually just the athletes checking out the racetrack. Okay, sorry, back to it. As the riders are all out on track walking it, seeing what it's like out there. Lift up, walk down the track, scope line. Some of them do video stuff. Some of them think track walk helps a bunch. Some of them don't really care. The interesting part now is that since nobody's ridden it, there's no lines cut in. It's kind of hard to see what's going to happen. And so what does uh, track walk usually end up meaning for you guys? For us, it's usually the busiest day because we get all the downhill product. It's the busiest day for us. Most stressful day of the week. It's the best day for us. Sure. For one thing, if you're not efficient and you're not consistent, you can't plan. So like if you do 10 forks in an hour and then the next hour you only do two, there's no way to schedule anything. So efficiency and consistency are key. Usually forks outside, trucks inside. Easier. So we can work through stuff quicker if you're just working on the same few things. You can keep working on them quicker because you've got all your stuff. Whereas if you're chopping and changing, it's yeah. not as efficient. Shark wise, out there we got a table. They fill out all the papers, sanitize their hands, sanitize the product. Fill out the tag sheets for us, pointing out any issues, if there are some. So then it gets dropped here, ready to be serviced. Myself and Pascal will pick one, go through it, make sure it's all fine. Um, usually people, if they drop it in the morning, they'll pop back around lunchtime. Um, and if they drop it in the afternoon, they'll pop back just before five. And it should be ready for them. Yeah, I hit the caffeine pretty hard. Usually four or five at breakfast. And then we'll come in and open up. I'll have a couple more. But usually coffee is really important first thing in the morning. Then, yeah, maybe another one when we get here. And throughout the day, probably have four or five. I like coffee, yeah. I definitely like coffee. You know, you'll have you'll have something like this and the Allen key will just be going around the bolt like this, never actually going in. So yeah, you gotta keep it below that level, but still pretty pretty gassed. Sounds like a little thing, but every little bit of time you save not searching around looking for the right tool, you times that by the number of forks. You can save quite a lot of time. Colour coded Allen keys. It's handy. That's a good one. Thinking about efficiency at all times. Analyse what you're doing and just work out little time-saving techniques and so on. The classic thing is we all tend to work with one hand. So the easiest thing to make yourself a bit quicker is to start using your spare hand at the same time. Stay organised. Know your plan, like your process. One, two, three, four. Just lay it out. Don't keep things around that you don't need to use. Like simplify everything so that you're not searching for either the process, like what steps you're doing or for what tools you're using. It's just like cooking or anything else. Just have it all set up and ready. Then you're not searching for things. It is just so impressive to see the whole team crank through a massive amount of forks and shocks and are just super efficient at what they do. Um, even when things get hectic, today was definitely pretty hectic. And from what we've heard, the track walk was pretty gnarly. I mean, it always rains, like summer, winter, whatever. But now it's cold and raining and possibly going to snow, so it's not going to dry out. It's going to be like the first riders tomorrow, I feel for. It's going to be gnarly. So things are going to get interesting, um, but wouldn't expect it any other way, I guess, at this point. So be sure to keep leaving any suggestions for content down below. 
this episode was definitely inspired by a couple of comments that we received yesterday. Um, so thanks for watching and we'll see you tomorrow.